Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. We're checking out the Player 2 series from Fender, and while Fender is known for single coil pickups, we are bucking the hum today with the HH Humbucker Humbucker Telecaster in this series. It's got a beautiful rosewood fretboard and two Alnico 2 magnet humbuckers. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this guitar. We'll put it on the bench and pull it apart, and then of course we'll plug it in and play it. Stick with us, we'll even compare it to the single coil Tele in an upcoming video. Price on this Tele, 829. If you're in the market for any new gear, including this Tele, click to buy new gear using our link. It helps us make these videos. When you click to buy new gear using our link, you'll get fast free shipping, easy payment plans, and Europe, we didn't forget about you, you can use our Toman link too. We're also giving away an American-made Martin acoustic guitar when we hit 100,000 subscribers. To win that guitar, make sure you're subscribed. Hit subscribe if you haven't, and sign up via Gleam. The entry link is down below in the description or pinned in the comments. All right, let's take a look at the HH Telecaster in the Player 2 series. It looks great. We'll see how it sounds. All right, here we are. So this is Aquatone Blue. It's also available in black. You can see all that using our link. And uh, it's got this beautiful rosewood fretboard. And I mean, most strikingly here, right? You still have a, a modified bridge here. It looks more like a hardtail strat bridge almost, string through body. And you got two humbuckers. These are the Player Series Elnico 2 humbuckers. Uh, we'll get a reading on the bench. But just a good look at Tele, also notably this one, unlike the single coil version, has a comfort uh, belly cut here. So if you want that comfort contour, it's included on this version as well. So let's head over to the bench and get some measurements before we plug it in. Looks and feels great so far. We've got these classic gear vintage style slot tuners on this gloss maple neck with a rosewood with a rosewood slab fretboard. Flipping it over, you can just see it gives a little bit of vintage charm. And you'll also see that on the back side of the neck, it's a satin finish. They've got rolled edges on the fingerboard, which feel great. You can see a nice thick piece of rosewood. Uh, and then coming down to the body, like I said, this is Aquatone Blue, also available in black. And this version, unlike the single coil version in this series, has the belly cut, the comfort cut there. So nice contour. And like I described this bridge, I would call it kind of like a hardtail strap bridge. It is string through body. And then here are the humbuckers. We'll get a reading on these in a second. Other than the humbuckers, no frills, basic controls, three-way toggle switch, three-way blade switch, and volume tone. So let's get the strings out of the way and get some measurements. Nice 70s style F stamped on the back of the plate here. And then we'll flip it around, pop this neck out, get a look at the raw alder. Body is made of alder. And then you've got this maple neck with a modern nine and a half inch radius. You can see the thickness of that rosewood slab, which is very cool. Uh, truss, truss rod adjustments up at the top of the headstock. We'll get some measurements now on this neck. Neck comes in at 1.65 inches. First fret at 0.84 inches, up to a 12th of 0.88 inches. Rosewood is a little bit dry. I'm going to go ahead and condition that. I got some Diodario Hydrate I'll throw on there. Contoured alder body comes in at 1.81 inches thick. Let's take a look under the hood. So we've got the pick guard here, three ply, and you can see that the neck humbucker is uh, actually attached to the pick guard. You can see the body route here, uh, shielded cavity down there too. Give you a look at the control cavity here as well. Everything hand wired, 250K pots. Oh no, actually, and that makes sense. They went with 500K pots like a Gibson. That's typically more of what you'll see with humbuckers. All right, player two, Elnico two humbuckers in the series. Let's see where those read. We're at seven six, so PAF style in bridge and a seven three in neck. So yeah, definitely voiced as like a vintage PAF style humbucker, particularly with that Elnico two magnet. Uh, the rest of the guitars in the series have Alnico 5 magnets, and those are a little bit higher, hotter output. So this, as I think we'll see, will be a little bit more vintage voiced in terms of the humbuckers themselves. Eight pounds exactly for this one. And flipping it around, regardless of which guitar you get in the series, they all have the common characteristic of basically the same neck profile and shape. It's a modern C, it's slimmer. Good sound of this guitar, unplugged. Satin feels noticeable. Good ringing guitar unplugged. Uh, I'm about to plug it in. Remember though, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, do us a big favor, click to buy new gear using our link. Helps us make these videos and you get easy payment plans, fast free shipping and the works. Check that out pinned in the comments or down in the description. All right, here comes my favorite part. We'll plug this in, I'll show you clean tones, we'll dirty it up and then we'll let it sing behind a track. On the other side of the playing demos, I'll give you my honest reaction of playing this guitar along with a final score. So let's get plugged in, drop a comment as we go. Let's get started.
It takes a lot to really surprise me with a guitar, and I'm gonna tell you right now that of the guitars I've reviewed in the Player 2 series, this one's gonna score the highest. You stuck with me to the end, I'm gonna give you my final score, my raw reaction to playing this. I really loved it. I based my final score on three categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. And what I'll say is when I think Fender, I don't necessarily think humbucker, but something about having this full Fender scale length with these great sounding vintage voiced Elnico 2 humbuckers in this series, this guitar sounds fantastic, and I think it carves out a special spot for itself in this series, because even if you already have a Telecaster, you already have a Stratocaster, you can get your single coil tones. This is giving you the Telecaster playing experience, but with just a great vintage humbucker sound that is so full and warm, it's like a blanket. Really enjoy it. Let's talk playability. It has that same shape as the rest of them, that kind of modern C slimmer style neck. Uh, it feels really good. The satin is a nice playing experience as well, and the slab of rosewood just feels great. I always love a guitar with rosewood. Um, when it comes to overall playability, nothing got in my way. In, in fact, compared to the single coil, this even has the belly cut, if that's something that you want on a Telecaster. Uh, not a bad weight either. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.1 on overall playability. Playability is not going to differ much from the rest of the series, but now let's talk about sound. Moving on to sound, I was floored by these humbuckers. I think they sound fantastic in this Telecaster. Super happy with the way they voice them. It just matches this Tele. It's getting all sorts of great tone that I would that I want to take on stage and play. I want to use in the studio. I can already think of what I want to do with this guitar, so I really can't recommend it enough. Sounds knocked me out. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5. 9.5 on overall sounds. And then when it comes to value, this is just about 30 bucks more than the rest of the series uh, or the comparable single coil Telecaster. It's at $829. It does not come with a gig bag or a case, so get yourself a case. But for these vintage voiced humbuckers, for this playing experience, for the whole package, and to have something different in your guitar lineup, even if you have relatively more expensive, let's say, American-made Telecaster or something, here's something under $1,000 
that you can add to your collection that will be different than what you already have and be totally worth owning. Um, it's almost like it's almost like comparable to it's like you got to have a guitar with P90s. Well, you got to have a guitar with humbuckers, even if you're a single coil person. But if you're a single coil person who loves fenders and loves tellies, this is a great way to do it naturally in a way that sounds great and won't break the bank. Great price. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, uh, especially with these humbuckers here, I'll give it a 9.4 in overall value. That's going to bring us to a total score of 9.3 for this amazing uh, player 2 Telecaster with the two humbucker configuration and a beautiful rosewood board. If you're in the market for this guitar, I suggest you get one. Click to buy using our link. You can even get easy payment plans, fast free shipping, the works. Uh, check all that down, pinned in the comments or down in the description. I really enjoyed playing this guitar. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Also, be in it to win it. We are giving it away an American-made acoustic guitar. Like I told you, you just got to make sure you're subscribed and sign up via Gleam. All that's down below. Thanks for hanging out. Check out the rest of the videos on the Player 2 series and all the guitars and gear across Plane Trade Guitars. I'm John. That's Zach. We'll see you next time. Take care.